Well, it took a parents time back from another video. As I said, I was gonna plan. I was planning on doing one of the movies, and well, I was just looking on YouTube, and I actually found one of them, two of them actually. Oh, until they feature, and they both feature Go Kaija. I'll probably cover the second one later. But it's still up on YouTube. So if that is still up YouTube by later, I'll review it. Oh, sorry, I got bitch. <laughs> Didn't realize how pitch on me then. So I said I'm viewing two movies. Oh, sorry. sorry, I just need to do something sex. That's why I paused. Oh, sorry. Sorry, what movie am I reviewing then? Well, I'm reviewing Kaiser Sentai Go Kaiser vs. Space Sheriff Gavin the Movie. Released in 2012. Yep, this movie was released. This movie was released at the tip by the tail towards the tail end of Go Gaija. I I already did a review on Kaiser Sunday Go Gaija months ago. So if you want to see if you want to know my thoughts on this entire series, go check that video out. And the second film is gonna be Kaisen Sentai Go Kaija vs. Tokumi Sentai Go Busters. What's it the other way around? I don't remember. Yes, I plan to review the crossover movie between Go Kaija and Go Busters. I've been wanting to check that one out too. See its story. And good for the way we watch Go Busters as well at that point. So, yeah, brief history. Kaisen Sentai Go Kaija is the 35th season. In the Super Sentai franchise, which ran from, tw from early 2011 to early 2012. Actually, oh, it was an anniversary. So, Gold Cards is an anniversary season that uses gimmicks. Those gimmicks are very unique. The idea was spawned after the whole massive earth a massive disaster happened in Japan. At that time, before the next season began production. So, um, one of the actors, one, mostly, um, I can't remember which one, but East Bomb, um, not East Bomb, um, what was it called again? Okay, I'll get, no. What was that season called again? It comes before Go Go Five. I don't know the name, but I forgot it. Ah. Ah, that's it, Ginga Man. And it was the actor that played the Black Knight. I can't, I don't know his Japanese name. I've never seen it. But, isn't it? He even recruited Geki Red into it, this actor. Also, he done support to help make a seat to guest star to appear in the new Sentai season. That's in production. And they managed to rub in a lot of act previous Sentai actors one in on it too. And it led to the idea of the gimmick of the keys, transforming into using the powers of the past Sentai by transforming into their suits. And plus, that's where Kaizek Sentai came into play. What, how you explain the power of him? Why not make him, if you want to use, why not make him pirates? Because the joke is, they pirated the powers of the past Sentai. It's kind of funny. Plus, because it said that Go Gadget was born, books of five space pirates from different worlds all come to Earth to face and not face off against the villains of the series, the Zagyak Empire. While searching for the ultimate treasure, when they come across, they eventually come around episode 17, they come across their sixth teammate, Ikari Guy, Go Kai Silva. I'm sorry, Go Kai Silva! 
Now then, this is the third. This is the third Ruby in Gokai just line. The first was or its crossover with Gosaja, which released early that which released during that year before released midway through the summer. That's a production before you not while well, Gokai Zero has been prepared to be introduced. So he cameoed in that film. Is a cameo. Yeah, that's why I said it. And episode 17 gives a reverence to Go Sage. So it takes place in between those episodes. Alright. Sorry, I already five minutes in. I haven't talked about the movie yet. Alright, little context as well. No, no context. Space Show Gavin. It's a Tokusatsu series from the 1980, from the eight, 1982. And ran until 1983. First installment in the Space Sheriff series, part of the Mel Hero series. And I gotta say, before I go on, I never watched Space Sheriff Gavin, sadly. I want to, but I can't find any episodes on Kiss Station or YouTube. So I'm not familiar with any of the characters. Not familiar with Gavin and his world. So forgive me if you're a fan of Space Show with Gavin. Can feel free to correct me if I get anything wrong in the comments down below. Because I won't know much about things. But it's a fun film. And the reason this crossover happened is because Space Show with Gavin was approaching its 30th anniversary. And they had something planned too. Gavin, this was the last, the last, oh, kind of the last appearance of, um, oh, where's that book? Sorry, my mum tidy up in here. And I'll go look at the book now. So yeah, can I play Space with Gavin? Is like a lot of this one. Kenji Oba. And it's a fun little nod to his pat ass rolls too in Tokusatsu. Well, I'll get to that. And it was his last appearance, it was his last, almost, it was almost, it's not, was, wasn't exactly his last appearance, but it was his last team up with any other Sentai. I think he's teamed up with Sentai in the past, I don't know. He has appeared in other episodes since, before he guys got, got a new movie in that exact same year in 2012. Okay. Where... Gavin handed off, handed off powers to a new character who became the new Space Show Gavin, who made an appearance in the next season, Tokume Sentai Goldbusters, which I probably mentioned in my review of Goldbusters. Anyway, let's get real. So the movie opens up with the Gokai just being attacked. No chance for the attack back. Some to a ship. <coughs> A ship crashes. The Gokai Galleon attack crashes. As the Gokai just come for go out to confront the person behind us. Well guy is bit a guy is was on an errand shopping and sees the whole crash. A little note. As I said, this movie released in twenty twelve towards the tail end of Gokai. So a lot of things that happen in if you're watching this before finishing Gokai, you'll be confused about what's going on. One little note. So this take as I said. So this takes place after the, the prince's death. It's been a long forgot his name, but the Zangya Empire's prince died. So it takes place after that with his father taking command for the final batch episodes. And also Guy's hair's longer. If you all know, Guy's hair got a little longer for the past, over the series, ever since his debut. <clears throat> I don't know why, he said he's even longer in the 10 years later movie. Which I actually also planned to cover. But I want to catch up with the Super Sentai on, that came out at that time. <laughs> Maybe, nah. I'll say. 
So yeah, they meet their attacker, Spatia Gavin. Basically saying they're under arrest for, for their crimes. There's the thing. It's not the first time they've been accused of crimes. So they have bounties on their head. But that's part of the Zangiak. We made up both stories. This was confronted in the ep in one of the early episodes of the season, the Deku Ranger episodes, when Marvelous has the team up with, has no choice but to work together with Goggy Kruger. <clears throat> yes, he actually is called Kruger in the Jap in Deku Ranger, not just Power Rangers. They literally brought the character over, just changing the costume. Hmm, not bad idea. It's pretty interesting how they did that. Good thing they didn't go the Zeno win route. I don't get that. I will talk more about that when I get to review Dino Charge. Anyway. At least don't use what's going on. So, the Gokai just had to try to throw the face off against Scarab, but he's too strong. In the end, he catches them, taking away the Gokai changer, the Gokai changes or cells or whatever. Meanwhile, okay, I forgot. <clears throat> oh yeah, they've been taking the pickles. The only person that can help now is Guy, so they had to hold up. So he had to hold up hope for him. But I say the Go Kaijus are still in love. I just love this spell for the Go Kaijus. It's fun for them. So yeah, the Go Kaijus gonna be executed, taken to the sheriff head, the space headquarters. I'm just calling the space police for a while because I can't remember their names. Again, never seen never seen Gavin. And there's so many seasons of Space Sheriff Gavin. One of them actually became Space one of the seasons actually got is half adapted into VR Troopers. Yeah, have you ever wonder why the cow cast the two Ryan splits off from a group every time? It's because they're using two different footages. And a two and they want to use footage to keep costs down. So that's why they split up all the time. A lot of people go into death, a lot of YouTubers go into death about VR Troopers. None, none of the spin offs ever last at the same height as Power Rangers, which has been going on for many, 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 many years. Actually, going on for 30 years. Yeah. Beyond that, wasn't always just recently released, so I actually should give that a watch sometime. So if you want to see that, go check it out. It's a great way to acknowledge everything that's happened in Power Rangers. So yeah, they're being they're trying to be executed. Gan questions the chief about what crimes do they do, you know. Much fun in. He knows that they were going to go to the Zangyak. You know? So, yeah, Gavin actually says to the value of the two colors. And and she reads the gold card, just if you like Gavin suspected something the whole time. The Zangyak infantry of the police, the space police. So, Gavin used the gold card just to pick them out. I'll just be using them. So, yeah. so yeah, give him please. It's already like he says something. I uh, must be his catchphrase or something. Because again, never seen a series. Oh, yucky something. That get wins some. That gives Gokai. That gives marvelous some weird flashbacks. We don't see the flashbacks, but we know something's up. As he tried. And Gavin fights a copy of him. And in the time, Guy shows up. You know? Marvelous has to go. Yeah, well, Gavin's busy fighting. And he lost and is sent to another dimension. Something that's supposed to be destroyed, according to him. Since he must have been part of the villains. One well, of villain, the villains he tangles he faced throughout the series. All the way back in 1982. And again, I'm not familiar with the law. 
So, uh, anyway, so they face up. I got a ship. Luke and Dawn are chastising guys for coming too late. For coming a little late. It's quite funny. Joe asked Marvelous what's wrong. Yeah. My answer was that, that, that Gavin reminds him of someone that could be could have been him. Well, so he tells his backstory. It's a bit, we actually get a little tied to his origin. Now, his origin wasn't exactly stated properly in the series. We never knew what his motivations were for doing this in the first place. Why did he join up? Why did he become a pirate in the first place to find the greatest treasure? I'm sure so. I know this is going to be revealed in some one of the movies, but it's smart details will be all here. As I said, this is the third movie in the Gold Cages. There were two others released The Crossover Ghost Sager and the Blind Ghost Ship movie, which Guy is in, I think. Oh, I see. When that movie was previewed in the openings, they do sometimes they do that show a trailer for the for the movie events of the show in the openings, which I like. It's pretty cool. Great way to advertise it. Marvel when Marvel's was a kid, he snuck up on a fellowship where she actually got attacked by the Zangiak. And then he re was rescued by a man that could be Gavin. So basically, he owes him his life. Sure. So, at least, um, I hope got all of decide that Marvis kind of owes him one. So, all of them are going to help him. But, so, uh, they try to figure out, okay, actually, then Marvis is a call from Bosco, who witnessed the whole thing. Basically, tells him some information about the dimension. And how going there could mean death. And just pause it down on that. He's definitely up to seven. Boss, uh, again, watch my go card to reveal. Again. Don knows there's a man come up who looks just like Gavin. But actually, that is Battle Kenya from Battle Fever J, the third season of the Super Center series. And then another one looks like him shows up. And that is Denji Blue. So yeah, Battle Kozak Kenya is Shiro Akebano. Who's also played by Kenji Oba. Oh Denji Man came out a couple years later. Let's see. Ah, that's man, my man. Yes, Digimon came exactly right after. So yeah, Digimon came after Battle Fever J. Daigoro Oma, I don't know if I'm saying that right. No, it's Denji Blue. They're all played by Kenji Oba. Unlike how they're acknowledging that, it's kind of funny. They're just acknowledging the roles that they kind of acknowledging the act. Sometimes a lot of Toku actors being in multiple Toku Zasu projects as different actors. There's a video on YouTube about Super Sentai common writer actors in the same shows, in each other's shows in most of the time. Like one was one of the examples, common writer J. Prior to nineteen ninety. Prior to 1994, the actor that played Kamen Rider J was all which, um, uh, 
Close to the Ranger. Yes. Any Yuto Machizuki plays was Kamen J. Who also played Geki the Tyranno Ranger. So I like the acknowledgement there. So they comment that they've both been mistaken for Gavin many times before. Finally, they actually know him. Did they ever cross over in the past? But it is a fun little reference to the actor's roles. They even Tokusatsu quite a lot. It's pretty fun. It's silly in a way. Uh, they tell him what happened to Gavin. Yeah, mission. That's why they should just use their ranger keys. That's the best, probably the best way to get there. I'm always planning to go alone, but... Well... Yeah, let's tag, decide to tag along with him. Oh. If he is Marvelous' origin, that's their origin too. And there wouldn't be here without Marvelous, so that makes sense. Like no reason then. Let's see, head off. And her prison. Where are we go? We get some familiar faces. We got a bit of a Gokai joke quite a while back. A comedic guy. Peter Nakari in the episode with, Car with Red Racer. He appeared in that episode too, much later. He appeared in around two episodes, I think. Yeah, he appeared in two episodes. It's a f that was some fun episodes. They seem to be tired. So yeah, he's somehow in this prison ship. Don't ask. And he's not the only villain. We have villains from some past seasons. Some I don't really, two I don't really recognize. Three actually. A woman with a blue metallic outfit with a bird that seems to be her type of human form. And a monster shit like with a bit of a telephone like put appearance. I don't recognize them. If you know what seasons they're from, let me know. But there are three I actually did recognize. The three main villains of Engine Sentai Go on ja. It's fun little call back there. We also got the vet not I think Vampoline her name was. You may know as Neck and I from like Master Mystic Boss, but that uh, yeah, her Japanese counterpart from Maho Sentai Magic Ranger appears there too. It's very funny, the host of the caused the guards to be alerted. So, in something of quite bow, as we cut the Basco plotting to steal the go the Goka, the Gokai Galleon, and the Get Ranger Keys. But he is stopped by, by three people. Not just any three people. These, he's stopped by none of them. And talk about said guy, Go Busters. Yes, the Go Busters appear. Since this was late in Go Kaiju's life, you know, towards the end of the season, of course they promote to have a meet preseason pre cameo in the film, which was quite common for some seasons. They couldn't appear in the Go Kaiju and Go Sage movie because that came out early 2011. It came out in 2011 before the summer. The episode came out in the summer of Go Guy Silver's debut episode. So the movie was made one up for mostly which they weren't really planned I guess they planned to introduce Gokai Silver after after, after the movie. Because he cameoed in it. Hmm. As we see I don't know, you know all these pieces and cameos. Apparently the Sally doesn't have them. It would be nice to see but again they don't know what seat next seat seasons they're gonna adapt next. But I wish they do add that in the series someday. Pre-season cameos. We can see the next team of Rangers. Of course, pre-season cameos are never canon. Except for Gokaijas. Why? Because they actually had an episode of tie into that cameo in Ancient Sentai Gojo. No, in Samurai Sentai Shinkenjo versus Tensil Sentai Gosaja. It looks it's quite funny. I can't find any comparisons on YouTube, Sally. But if you can find them, please let me know. I really want to see um, side by side. It's quite fun. I'll explain why 
guy is there with him, but he's someone else at that point in time, though, with the kid. It's a whole episode. And if you want to, you, if you've already seen Go Kaija, and want to watch the episode, go check it out. It's a good episode. It's clever. And ties into Time Yellow. It was a male in the Japanese version, by the way. So yeah, fighting. John guys stay behind. Well, Lu Luca, Don, I'm in Marvelous Hell Up. Of course, there's no fake come on. Jack Gavin feels why they're doing here. Alright, doors pull up and they end up in the center of a hellish world. Face off against familiar looking monster, except it's their sister and it's basically the bro their brother's sister. Yeah, you remember those aliens, right? Have you seen Gokaija? Yo, know, the one with this big, squidgy, ball-like being on his shoulder. I can't remember his name, but you know that guy. <clears throat> I was say, this is top... This... Also, the villains have been released. It's quite funny. And they actually had those ghost bands on. Those tri what, triangle bands on. Those actually symbolise de dead. <clears throat> so it seems like they're dead. That's why they're wearing them. And they said after they blown here, after they didn't like it that they were turning good. I gotta watch all of Go On, you know. I watched a few episodes, didn't like it as much as RPM. But I may judge it too harshly. We'll see. I'll give it a rewatch sometime. So Luca and Dawn stay behind to face this monster. Well, my brothers and I'm head off and end up in another world. Face off against the, some bit familiar base villains. And then they're facing the main antagonist of Tenso Sentai Gosage. Yeah, they paint, end up facing against the main villain. I say he's behind to hold him back. And Blavis goes on to rescue Gavin. Ends up facing against Gavin's copy. Marvis also a sneak away to free him. And when they got up, when he, Marvis braced um, Gavin, and the, as a catch that is, you can see a flashback for both of them. And Marvis said, I knew it. And of course, the ones bad guys think they can't escape, but they already come with a plan prior to it because they're pirates and then and they and they work together. As we cut to each of the Gokai other members blasted a hole, blasted through the holes of the roof. So does Marvelous. All five, all six, their blast holes. And they'll jump down. All right, the Gobus is finished about with Bosco. Who was forced to leave after Yuko? Um, Yuko, no name now. Hang on. Mm. No. 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 Ah. Yoko gave Sally some snacks. It was fun, and it's a great way to demonstrate the characters. And I think Dynaman was actually the first to use leather suits. Don't bust this was sneak from the get-go. I like the pre-season cameos get fans hyped for these characters. But Dot, recently, the previous pre-season cameo, well, when 2021's Keikai's and Daisenkaija, with Dom Mutal being making his what making his appearance in the final in the final battle. Only one, not the other team members. Usually the old one appear. My favourite one is in the Go Busters and Go Kaija movie. With Kyo Daigo Kyo Red appearing. You know, and the other team will not show up. But I get their bad uh, being a said I I talk more about that guy when that comes up in the in one of you go buses with go kaiju later. Yeah. So yeah. 
Anyway, they confirmed that Gavin is the one that saved got Marbles when he was a kid. You know? Gavin actually remembers Marbles now. While this was a touching moment, the villains had to ruin it. So we get a unique team of singles where they both transform. Now the Gold Kai just transformation is kinda of low using this narrator of special Gavin's transformations. I can't do it right, but you it takes 0 0.5 million seconds. Well, actually, I don't know if that Goku's transformation is much faster than Gavin's. <clears throat> Which makes sense because Gavin has to do multiple poses before doing his best up in the air. So that's pretty cool as they fight. It's a truly amazing battle. And the girl kind of just end up facing against the one who started all, who's actually a descendant of the person who created, of the monster that created that portal. It must be an antagonist of Gavin years ago or something, I don't know. Like I said, I've never seen the series. So yeah, they don't care about the images, they're pirates. And they finish it off with two reds, two whites, two pinks. You know? Well. They finish it off with, you know, all of them you starting with pink, then white, and then red. Male pinks. That's the first appearance of male pinks. It's brief, yet amazing. Because we got our first official male pink ranger in Sentai last year in Avatar Sentai Dawn Brothers. And King Ojo was unique for his pieces in Cameo. Because none of the King Ojo's actually appear. Is there the Mecha King Ojo appeared. That's interesting. Like, no cameo from Giba? Sad. That'd be nice. Yeah, it has a sense of their personalities from the beginning. Oh, well, you'll just know I love good King Ojo. And Go and King Ojo have been compared so much. And I can see some of it. Like, um, Himeno is kind of like Luca. Joe and Gamma Gas are basically similar as well. But, <clears throat> now I say Gear is more like Guy. Rita is more Karma, like Marvelous. But, you know. Anyway, we're going to go destroy the monster. Huh? And Gamma destroys his copy. And of course, the monster goes big as usual. So, of course, in a Mecha Bow. I hope I'll go of Gavin's space te spaceship and dragon, whatever. I don't know what it's called. And so I'm working together a triple attack. Like it's just an amazing fight. If Goku just and Gavin win. So Gavin and Go and Marvelous have a nice art you know. It's really amazing. Yeah, I'm going to say goodbye for now. And we got some more people showing up. Two more people showing up. Denji, Denji Blue and Ken, Blau Kenya show up. Seeing all three of them on together. I just love that little knowledge right there. It's quite funny. All three of them played by the same actor. And it's weird for a centre actor to be in a second season. In a different series. You know? It's way for the Sentai actor to stay on for another season as one of the main characters. And one of the seasons, in those seasons, ties into Battle Fever J as a, as a loose sequel. I can't remember which one exactly that was, but... And, well, the voice says that the three of them never had... The kids of past years, I see something that said, I haven't seen, I'd love to see them transform together. And that's the opportunity to do it. As the three actually do. And it's a truly good moment for fans of full. And see, movie comes to end in. As the girl just say goodbye to Gavin. And after it closes the film out. And, <clears throat> good film. I really enjoyed it. 
as someone who loves Go Kaijo, just one of my fun seasons. I highly recommend you check out Go Kaijo and this movie. I can't exactly recommend the other two movies yet, I haven't seen them. We'll see. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed my content, please hit the thumbs up button. Want to see more? Subscribe to the channel. Hit notification bell. We have all videos that can help you, Jack. I'll see you guys next time for another super henshin video on the channel. Sayonara.